Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about selling and buying damaged cards. Selling and buying damaged cards, well, it's an interesting issue that I don't see much discussion about. Uh, selling damaged cards is almost impossible to do. Um, there is a very low probability, and even if you, I, and I've had this in the past with Magic Online Trading League, even if you advertise it and you scan it and then you say it's water damage, blah, 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 and you say it's worst condition as is, the person's still going to return it. Like, I don't know why this is the case, but no matter what type of explanation you can give them to how damaged it is, unless they see it in person, they're going to return it. Now, that gets me to buying um, from stores damaged cards. Now, stores will sell you damaged cards, but only when you see it in person. They won't sell it online, and there's, you know, that's the reason I just said is why they won't do it because it, there's the return rate is, I assume, extremely high. It was extremely high for me as well. No matter how well you describe it, no matter how um, many pictures and scans you have of it, people are still going to return it. It's just a fact of life. Now, when you buy damaged cards, and I know a lot of people are like, oh, I want to just buy damaged cards to play with. Uh, there's two types of damaged cards. There's one damaged card which is water damage, which is, in my opinion, unplayable. You put it in a sleeve and, you know, it bends and it's just not playable. And then the other one is when it's just damaged, but it still can lie flat. And those, to me, are playable, but they just don't look very good. Um, so, again, you have to look at the two types. You have to look at the one, and it's kind of like... One of them lies flat and is playable, and one of them is bendy and it doesn't. And that normally means water damage or humid, uh, humidness. Uh, one of the other things I absolutely will not buy is I will buy the flat damage cards, but I will not buy smoke cards, um, cards coming from a smoking home, because your market value on that, like your audience who's willing to buy for that, even the sleeve, is just very, very low. Like it's not non-existent. And one of the saddest things I've ever seen is uh, someone trying to sell me a Mox Opal, a Mox Jet, and a Mox Emerald about a year ago. And everything was fine. They looked okay. I mean, they were damaged and heavy played, but uh, I would have bought them because they were a very good price. But then I smelled them. I was like, oh, well, I can't take this. No one's going to take it. Now, I know a lot of you might say, oh, just leave it up and play it for yourself. Um, that's true, but at the end of the day, you know, I don't want you, it still smells, right? And that's not something that I would, uh, that's something that if your play group is not accepting of it, when my play group was not, then it's, you can't play with it, right? Who else are you going to play with unless you play with your very casual friends? So definitely uh, buying and selling damaged cards. I think you have to buy damaged cards on site. You have to look at the card. You have to put it in a sleeve. You have to shuffle the card up. And if it doesn't, if there's no noticeable difference, then you, yes, you can buy it for 30% of what its near mint price is. And for a lot of people, that's a great, great deal. And if you go to any GP, if you go to any Star City Invitational, or you hit up any vendors, they will have cards like that. Um, and they will typically tend to be very high value cards because for the lower value cards, they just throw them out. But if they have a very damaged, let's say, Black Lotus, no matter how damaged it is, they're going to keep it because they can get some money from it. Anyway, uh, have you guys ever bought or sold damaged cards before? Uh, if so, leave me a comment below. Let me know if it was worth it and what the price was. I mean, the price is always going to be very compelling. So when I drop cards in a swimming pool it, and I posted a video of me ripping the cards, like it was surprising to me that people still wanted those cards because they were moldy and all like curved up like I mean they were not like beyond damaged but people got upset because they still were like oh I want to play with that card and it's like well it's not playable I guess like you could put it in a binder and look at it but still anyway bye guys